said, right? He's, you've already seen some results. Uh, yeah. But even this, he's doing it um, kind of wrong. Let me just show you. Do you want one? But right when, first off, he has a great serve because he has a lively arm. start here to correct all the timing but if he leaks back in you're right there it's probably better than before before he probably had his knees bent oh yeah he was way down here yeah now you've still leaked to there if you keep this back here longer and then just jump and do the what we talked about you'll go harder don't move that rack just tilt back move it again and he's a very handsy guy he likes to lasso this thing around don't move it you're just going to tilt back Jump and there's a collision. Don't move it, don't move it, jump. Make sure you tilt. Right here, do not move it, don't move it, jump. You try again. I know you're a little tired of doing that drill. Again, that's the way it's gonna be in a third set. Do not move it, okay? Just tilt back and jump. Better. It's here when her legs are still down. She could have hit 140. Now, everybody might think, oh, she has a good serve. No, it, it could have been better. And that's all I'm saying. He has a, a fast serve for one reason. His arm's like a rubber band. That's why. I'm just saying, keep it back forever. Do not move it. Kill you. Don't move it. football or baseball when you see a pitcher with you're gonna see you'll see you see how that stretched this muscle he never did that before because he went like this his racket was here he never got a pull on the shoulder and that's because the timing of your legs and racket was incorrect so I put you here to get your house in order now what he's doing is this he's still putting the racket like that before he even moves his leg it should be like this watch this see how you got that same as me throwing a ball see how it stretched that part because my legs are going first. You know what? Don't even think of your rack. Don't even think of your rack. Just tilt back, jump. Don't even swing. Just turn your body and there's a collision. Okay. I would rather have you do that a couple of times. That, that, that actually made my day. Because that was the except oh that was the extreme. I said the one where he did it just bizarre where he didn't even move at all I said I liked it 
Now the next one got a little better, and then the next one got a little better. You gotta over exaggerate. The quickest way to learn and to make things happen fast is that if you tilt back, you should come up like a jackrabbit, and there's just a collision. Don't move it. Jump! This isn't even about the result. It's about the sound. Keep going. That was great. But you got to know why. You got to know why. See, even, listen, it's like someone said, well, what do you think of quick start and the little balls and stuff like that? And with all these little kids, I said, listen, it's great. It's all good. But if the coaching's bad, you can be bad on a small court too. The kids are just doing everything wrong. So it doesn't really matter. So what I'm saying is, even if he does this, if he does this wrong, Timing has to be pristine. Watch it. That means as clean as it would. Watch it. Now watch. See, my legs drove the racket. Look. My legs are making the racket go into my back. What he's doing, not now, the last two you did a little better. What he's doing, he's going like this. He's tossing, okay, and the racket goes like this. See where it is? And then he goes. And so he really isn't going to get the pull and affects the timing. So to fix that, I can just hold my racket up there. I can hold my racket up there. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's got to be like, make sure, he's already right and start moving. See, he should be focused on one thing the cartwheel or the tilt and the jump. You should, this is all about legs if you want to change the timing. This isn't about uh, use my legs on the serve. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, you wanted him to get there, yeah. You, you start banging, and you can see, when you first started off, you know now, the correction that I made, that you're doing it wrong. See, he was getting a little accidental spin, because the ball was in too soon. You weren't cracking it like that in the beginning, five minutes ago. Don't move it, just tilt back. The body pulls the arm through. And then you can be yourself, then you be kite. His arm can go crazy. Once, look, once a guy goes back to pass, and he gets in this position, all right? The first thing that's gonna move is what? What do you think? Watch this. Any quarterback, watch me, he's gonna throw it. Watch the first thing it moves. It's this. You don't see him go like this. You don't go. The first thing that moves the leg and the hip. And that triggers the arm. The problem with the serve, your arm's twice as long. And that's why all these kids get screwed up. No one really understands what's going on. Because it happens so quickly. Does that make sense? And I don't blame the coach at home if she started like that. Go put it there. And maybe he got to there and they weren't really seeing what they should see. But if anybody saw what you were doing on the last two, they would say it's awesome. Don't move it. Just tilt back. Okay, you leaked a little bit. And here's what's going to happen. Notice the sound. Go ahead. Notice the sound. You got too much spin. Spin is good. But he had too much spin. I guarantee you didn't hit a serve like that the last three months at home. No. I guarantee. What about uh, second serves? Well, what? second serve, it's the same concept. You, you want him to keep it back longer. The only difference is he would toss the ball a little more like, let me explain. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay, on the first serve, remember what I said. You want to go like this. You want to toss, bend, and tilt. See how I went this way? See how I'm going? So everything's linear. It's all about forward rotation, but on the second serve, you can go like this. There is some twist. See how my, I'm turning my body? You do want to twist because, look, when I go to hit the second serve, 
I go that way. Right. Remember on the second serve, and the toss can come a little bit back of your head. So on the second serve, everything's the same, the concept, keeping it still, all that. But instead of him going like this, look, see I'm going back this way in a straight line. He can go like this, he can twist. And why do I say you can twist? Because look how I swing at the second serve. See the second serve swung like from, if there's a clock, like seven to two. So it doesn't make sense for him to go this way to do that. Do you want to twist a little more on the second serve? Does that make sense? So it's identical, except he can twist more and the ball should come back at you. But as far as this other stuff, it's the same. Yeah, so we started out with all twist, then we went to all this, and now we're still working on this, broken, but for second serves we can add a, a little bit of twist, but still with the tilt. Yeah, okay. absolutely. It's a good question, I'm glad you asked that. Because there are differences, first. Yeah. I'm not even worried about really your second yeah, serve. Yeah. I just want you to hold it there forever. Feel like, here's what you gotta feel like, and this is tough. Feel like your body pulls the arm through, that concept. Good, that was a B plus. in there too soon it's like a chopper and that's what you did before before it was a nightmare nightmare <laughs> no, it was a nightmare and that was even abbreviated nightmare does the guy back home know why we were doing this or he didn't want you to explain no it? I gave him the videos we I'm showing most everything then he understood or he I'm gonna know? bring him in June too okay. awesome Listen, I get this stuff, macros, the cat, it's just, they, they all do it. And then after they get it, they all start doing it. But initially, push back, again. Yeah. Don't move it, okay? You just tilt back as far as you can, and your body, just launch your body. Forget the racket. But notice how I'm explaining it. Hey, don't swing. Forget your racket. Just jump in. Keep it back forever. And that, when someone's little, what he's thinking of, I'm going to toss it, I'm going to beat the crap out. in he likes it if it goes out he doesn't and we're like on week three it's like the craziest thing you'd rather do them all wrong and get like all of them in keep it back just tilt jump you didn't see that the last three months see now when that happens what I'd have to tell his coach is we I need to explain why that happened <laughs> by the timing of his legs and racket being perfect and that was perfect the legs made the racket go down faster, up faster, it made him go over the top more. Didn't you feel like more explosive there? Yeah. But people can tell you, be more explosive, jump, they can tell you those things, and those are all good things, but the sequencing was wrong in before. Keep going. People at one aren't here, you just keep going. Don't move it, don't move it, don't move it, just tilt back, jump. You're really thinking. Very good distance. See, what concerns me is, and this is a major league problem before, he used to take his hand, and not only was it too close to his head, I mentioned that, didn't I? Or not? He really turned the racket a lot, and I see that once in a while now, where when you do it my way, not my way, the way you should do it, I don't see that. back, pull, not bad, not bad, keep it back, keep it back even longer, okay, don't move it, check your feet, keep it 
back. Just tilt back, tilt back, jump. Great miss. And I think you can relate. When you do it right, he'll feel what he should feel is a pull in his right shoulder. If you think about it, if anybody throws a baseball or a football, they're gonna feel this. You can see a picture. You can see a picture and sure. you can just see what I mean by the pull. But if I videotaped this serve and he got it in there too soon, you wouldn't see a pull. So you're gonna see this. See, I'm, it doesn't look like a pull. Yeah. Watch this. See, there's a pull. And that's all timing. Keep it back as long as you ever have. Jump as high as you can. Keep it back as long as you can. Doing great. By the way, He's like flipping all over the map. Tilt, go. You're on fire. Yeah, that was way better. What do you think? But here's the key. That's going to get better. The other way, I'm telling you, you're just you're correcting symptom after symptom. People tell you about his legs, his toss. That's all good little stuff. All right. There's, like I said, a lot of girls on the tour. They, they do it wrong, especially on the second serve. They don't want to double fall, they stick it in too soon, they de-accelerate, they're afraid, and, it's, and so they can't hit the ball like over 70 miles an hour. And this is what I'm saying is, you need to understand, he has to be his own coach on this. Help me pick up. Thanks very much.